What we're going to do today on Stacy's Country Cooking Adventure is going to be something just a little bit different. And today we're sponsored by Clemens HVAC, Lax, Kentucky. If you're in the Nolan Lake area, give them a ring if you got any heat and air issues. Uh, but back to what we're doing today. We have been looking at trailers, different things to haul our slingshot when we go uh, maybe camping or something, you know, just kind of checking into it. So I got online, and I'm not saying it's not out there, but I have not found anything other than Polaris specs that gives a detailed measurement of the slingshot. And what I mean by that, for example, if you're loading this thing backwards into a toy hauler that has cabinets up so far, uh, you're kind of going to need to know how much and how quick this thing steps back into a V to be able to load your slingshot in there. I've not been able to find anything like that. So what I've done, uh, I've already went through, measured, and wrote down, but myself and Stacy are gonna go back through again to show you the points where we measured this thing at and how we got our measurements. And then at the end of the video, she'll post a picture of our measurements and also post Polaris' specs. These are not, I'm not down to the 10th or the 16th or anything on measurements. I just rounded everything up on inches. And so I, I'm going to call it approximate, but it's going to be close enough to get you in a trailer. And this is a 2019 S model. Uh, I think they're all the same measurements except for maybe the Grand Touring. And I'm not going to guarantee you on the height because I know the other models have taller tires and wheels. So I don't know if that changed the, the overall height or the ground clearance or anything like that. But anyway, I'm going to start and walk you through with what we measured here. We got about, uh, about 10 or 11 measurements to really help you out. And like I said, again, we're doing this just because I've not seen anything like this on the internet or on YouTube. And there is times that this will be very handy for somebody. So I'm going to grab a tape over here. And what we've done here for the front, since if you've got a slingshot, you know the front is kind of tapered. I've got a jack handle here simulating the very front of my slingshot. So the first thing we've done was we went from the jack handle to the back, right behind your front plastic in front of the front wheel. And I've got 12 inches. You might not be able to see that on the camera, but that's from the very front of the machine to the back of your front fairing plastic, 12 inches. All right, our next measurement, we went on back here to the widest point of the front of the machine. Or no, first off, we measured the width right there. Let me just get my paper here, that'll help a whole lot. At 12 inches back, we measured this machine. At 12 inches back from the very farthest point, which is the back of your front fairing piece, if that's what you want to call it. My S is 68 inches wide. All right. Now the widest point of the S, which is approximately 30 inches back from the very front of the slingshot. <clears throat> Got that on there. Face is going to measure. Now on mine, the tires stick out past the fender three quarter to an inch. So I'm at 78 inches wide at the widest point, which is outside of the tire, outside of the tire, on my slingshot. And again, that's 30 inches from the front. This picture here will show you all that in a little better detail. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get a height right here while we're here. I'm 33 inches exactly. Again, if you've got a different model, you could be higher, I, I don't know that. I know they got different size wheels and tires. Okay, our next measurement is going to be at the mirror. Okay, I'm going to the widest point of the mirror, which is 68 inches back from the front. 68 inches back. Okay, we're going to do a width there, which again is going to be your mirror. And I'm looking at 72 inches wide at the mirror with where my mirrors are set. Keep in mind these mirrors are adjustable, so that could vary with your machine. But where mine's set, I'm 72 inches wide, which is six foot. I'm gonna go ahead and get you a height right there. Now my height is gonna be my windshield. 
I've got the shorter sport windshield. I know some of these have a taller windshield, so that'll vary. And with my windshield, I'm at 42 inches high, right in the center of the windshield. Okay, our next point is gonna be the same area with the mirror folded in, which is gonna put you down here where the plastic kicks in to the body. Again, this is a 2019S. Yours may be a little bit different. Uh, but like I said, again, we're, we're 70 or uh, 68 inches back and where that kicks in, we are 62 inches wide. All right, so at the mirrors, if you take the mirrors off, my machine is 62 inches wide, 68 inches back. All right, our next measurement is going to be right here. That's where my plastic comes down beside the seat, the armrest area, whatever you want to call that, right, right at the tip of that. That's going to be the widest part of the body at the seats. All right. And according to what I've got here, that is 86 inches from the front. 86 inches from the front. Let's see how wide we are. And we are 63 inches wide right there. 86 inches from the front, 63 inches wide. That's where the plastic comes to a point in what I would call the armrest area of the slingshot. I'm gonna turn you guys around just a little bit since we're getting more toward the back. All right, so with that being said, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna measure just in front of our roll bars. Right here at the front of our roll bars. I'm 112 inches back. That's 112 from the front. All right, I'm gonna get you a width and a height there. Yeah, now this is not a width of the roll bar. This is a width of the body of the slingshot. I'm 58 inches wide, just in front of the roll bar. Now, 57 inches wide. Let me remeasure that. I wrote down 57. Now, we took more time while I go measure. Yes, it is 57, sorry about that. I'm just doing, showing you now just for reference. I actually took more time earlier and measured this so I can write it down. And with the height, my roll bar is 53 inches high. Again, yours may be different. All right, our next point, uh, gonna be a little technical to describe here. Let me scoot this camera back some. Maybe you'll be able to see more about what I'm talking about here. Or Stacy's Country Cooking. Right here, you got a seam in your plastic that comes back just to the tail light. All right, right at the point where that seam is, is where your tail light actually becomes wider than the plastic. So that's where we're going to measure, right there at that tail light. All right. And on mine, again, yours may be a little different. I know they change simple stuff like lights and stuff like that. I'm 46 inches wide at that seam where that tail light becomes wider than the body. 46 inches wide, and that is, should be 128 inches back from the front. That's what it is, 128 from the front. All right, my last measurement is going to be the back tire and the belt drive assembly. Uh, and I'm 19 inches wide. 19 inches wide. And I'm not even going to show you how to measure that. But I'm measuring that from 142 to the full length of the slingshot, which is, let me look here. And Stacy will post this on the screen also for you to look at. The full length of the slingshot, according to Polaris, is 149.6. So from 142 to 149.6, I'm 19 inches, well, I'm 19 inches wide at 142. After 142, my belt pulley is gone, so I narrow up a little bit, all the way to 149.6. Let me just go ahead and get what I narrow up to. I narrow up to just the tire, which is 11 inches wide. And I'll write that on the paper here. And I'll 
12-foot tire. And I'm going to let you guys look, show this to you so you can see this. And Stacy will also screenshot it, but I'm going to describe it here. All right, I got a 2019 Slingshot S. This is all approximate. Everything was measured lengthwise from the front. 12 back, 30, 68, 86, so on. Everything's measured from the front. But at that point, at 12 inches back, which I've arrowed right over to where it's at, that's how wide I am. And if I've got an extra one, that's a height. And again, at the mirror, the first one is the width of the mirrors themselves. The second one is the width of the plastic if you take your mirror off or swing your mirror in so your mirror is not the widest point. Uh, hopefully you understand this. I think it's fairly simple. If not, leave a message in the comments. We'll try to get back with you. Again, Stacy will screenshot this at the end of the video here, and she'll also screenshot Polaris's measurements. But hopefully this will help anybody that's thinking about trying to get this into a trailer, uh, whatever they might do. If we ever get to that point, the next thing I'm curious about is actually loading it with a transition of the ramp. But if we get to that point, that'll be a pretty good video. Like I said, it's something different. We appreciate everybody that watches Stacy's Country Cooking and, and her adventures. And, uh, we thank everybody for watching. Hope this has helped. Bye, everybody. Thank you.